Hi everyone, it's Janelle here, the School District's Farm to School Specialist again with another Harvest of the Month video. This month in February, we're tasting mini Tangelos in the school cafeteria. Here's the agenda of what this video will co consist of. What is Harvest of the Month? We'll learn about what the Tangelo farm and watch a video, and we'll also learn about the nutritional ben benefits. So if you don't remember, Harvest of the Month is the school cafeteria's special food of the month that's served every Wednesday as part of school lunch. Um, the farmers weren't ready, the citrus tangelo wasn't ready to be harvested just yet, so you'll get the mini tangelos in the lunchtime on next week on February 9th. So every Wednesday starting next week, you'll get these tangelos, okay? As always, Harvest of the Month is grown by a California farmer, and we'll see where um, in California these tangelos are coming from this month. Um, and it changes month to month. And so this February with the tangelos, it kicks off our citrus um, harvest of the month fruits. And so we'll learn about other citrus fruits in the upcoming months for um, future videos. So tangelos that we are getting this month are from the San Joaquin Valley right here, um, in the heart central of California. It's about 200 to 400 miles away from San Diego. It's about 400 miles if you go like up here in the northern part of San Joaquin Valley, um, 200 miles if you reach the bottom. Um, we're such a large school district that we have to sometimes buy from multiple farmers to get um, as much of the tangelos um, or fruit as possible because there's so many students here in San Diego. Um, and so we sometimes we buy from the Central Valley to make sure that we get from different farmers um, who can support our large, large district. Um, this is part of our initiative called California Food for California Kids. If you're ever driving up um, in throughout California, you'll see valleys and valleys of different uh, farms. And here's a photo of one of the citrus farms that you might drive by um, if you're driving through the San Joaquin Valley. And those citrus farms might be growing tangelos just for you here in San Diego. So here's us right there. <laughs> All right, let's learn more about the tangelos. Here's a little video of a tangelo farm. And this tangelo farm is actually located in San Diego. We were able to visit and make a video of the farm and the farmers. Um, so let's take a look. Here at the San Diego Unified School District, we believe Cal here at the San Diego Unified School District, we believe California kids should eat California food. So we work with our neighboring farmers to bring you local produce. This month, we take you to the organic orchards of Sunrise Farms, 45 miles north of San Diego a place where music plays and citrus grows. This member of the Harvest crew is picking Mineola Tangelos just for you. A Mineola Tangelo is a combination of a grapefruit and a tangerine. Mineolas look similar to oranges, but Mineolas have a distinct round bump on top and are tangy and sweet. Mineolas grow on trees the fruit trees are planted in large groups called groves. The mineolas on these trees are ripe and ready for picking. But before they looked like this, they were flowers. Mineola groves flower in the spring. These citrus flowers then attract bees and other pollinators that help turn the flowers into fruit. Mineolas start off small and green. As they grow, they become orange and sweet. On this orchard, it is Tom Mosley that decides when the fruit is ready for picking. Tom is the field manager for Sunrise Farms. I grew up farming and we had branches up here in Valley Center and just spending time with your family and, you know, getting your boots dirty is what I call it. Just going through and making sure everything's getting watered efficiently and just caring for the trees. It's something that's always been important to me. Today, Tom is checking in with Augustine and his crew. They spend their work days picking fruit. They climb tall ladders and also pick from the ground. They fill these harvest bags, which then fill these bins. Once the bins are full, this tractor is used to move the mineolas 
to get them ready for packing. This packing plant is where the miniolas will be sorted and put into boxes. Their destination, your salad bar. Tom and his crew hope you will love the taste and that they'll find, a, you know, even if it's a small level of passion for organic citrus and fruit and food in general, and it'll make them healthier and happier and stronger. And healthier because miniolas are packed full of vitamin C, which is good for your skin and your heart. Happier because miniolas taste good and are fun to eat. And whatever it is that they're into, if it's sports or video games or anything else, it's it'll make them a better kid. So take a tray full. Miniolas are served on your salad bar every Wednesday. And remember to give thanks to all of the hard workers who helped get the Miniola Tangelos to your lunch tray. Awesome. So that's a quick little video of one of the Tangela farms that's actually located here in San Diego. Um, really, really awesome. You got to see the process of when they're harvested, um, when they get put in the from the bags, the bins, to the tractors. Um, and then eventually they do make it all the way down here to San Diego, even it's even from the Central Valley of San Joaquin. Awesome, friends. Here at the San All right. So a little bit more information on the Miniola Tangelos. Um, they were also nicknamed the Honey Bell um, be because of their sweet tart flavors um, and then of their shape, their distinct shape. Like we learned in the video, they have a distinct bump, bump at the top as you can see here in the photos. Um, and we also learned from the video that the Tangelo is a cross between a grapefruit, specifically the Duncan grapefruit pictured here on the screen and then a Dancy Mandarin as well or Dancy Tangerine. So you can see that um, and they crossbred them. We learned about crossbreeding a couple months ago with the Pluot, you remember that? Uh, and so they crossed the two citrus to make the Tangelo. Um, Another fun fact is that the orange peels or the citrus peels in general, any citrus, and I'll have a photo of the different types of citrus on the next slide, but citrus peels like the tangelo um, has what's called limonene, and it's studied to have a lot of anti-stress, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-cancer, and heart disease fighting properties. Sometimes what I like to do when I peel a, a a tangerine or a tangelo uh, or meaning any sort of citrus, I love to get the smell um, of the lemonine and the smell of the citrus flavors um, just around me. Um, so I like to squeeze the, um, the, the peels just so that I could get the nice smells surrounding me and smelling it and inhaling it and doing some mindful activities with it as well. Maybe you're with me before with the uh, mindful activities. Um, if not, I can link the mindful activity um, in the description below. Awesome friends. So here's some other photos of some amazing citrus and we're going to learn about some of these different types of citrus in the upcoming months because um, as I mentioned, harvest of the month, citrus season is here for the upcoming, I think, up until maybe April. So we're going to have a lot of citrus um, that we're going to learn about. Um, specifically, I know kumquats are on the menu for probably next month. So stay tuned for that. Um, here are the different sizes of citrus out there. Really amazing. Here is our tangela right there. Um, there's a grapefruit um, right here. Something even bigger than grapefruit is a pomelo um, or pomelo. Um, so you might see that hanging around. I've seen them hanging around um, different neighborhoods around San Diego. Uh, and then the tiniest one over here is our kumquat. You go tiny they are. Um, and there's different types and so beautiful when you cut them open. You can see the different colors um, and the different little juice capsules that they hold. And I thought this was fun to share. This is what's called a Buddha's hand citron. Look at the weird and funky um, shape that this citrus holds. It looks like a flower. It's so amazing. And I, I've never tried it myself, but maybe one day we could get that as a harvest of the month, but who knows? <laughs> they might be interesting to eat. So if you ever have had a chance to taste one, please let me know. That's really cool. Awesome friends. So we know that we have to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. That's why we serve different fruits every month in the cafeteria to encourage you all to try different fruits and vegetables of different colors. Um, you know, um, last month we learned about golden kiwis. They're kind of in the yellow and greenish sides for our immune system, strong teeth and bones. And now we're kind of leaning into more of orange fruits and vegetables with the citrus. 
kind of goes in between healthy eyes and healthy immune system, the colors orange and yellow. Um, so let's learn more about the different nutrients specifically in the tangelos. So how do tangelos help my body stay healthy? Well, there's a lot of vitamin C in in tangelos and all citrus that helps us have a strong immune system. And your immune system is your body's way to shield you from germs so you don't get sick. This is especially important right now as we enter the winter colder months here in San Diego. And I know a lot of folks are getting sick out there. So keep yourself safe, keep your immunity strong, help you heal faster, eating a lot of vitamin C. There's also a lot of vitamin A in, in tangelos. Um, that beautiful orange color helps you remember that it has a lot of vitamin A in it to help support healthy vision, even healthy skin. So keeping that in mind. And then last but not least, there's a lot of great dietary fiber in there. It helps to keep your digestive system nice and clean. Um, it helps you digest the food that you're eating nice and well and to absorb all the nutrients like vitamin A and C, okay? So that, are, that is how um, tangelos are our medicine to, for this month, helping our body stay healthy. Awesome, friends. So thank you all for watching this quick little video. Um, again, tangelos will start being served in the school cafeteria next week on Wednesday, February 9th. So make sure you pick one up from your school cafeteria. Um, and if you are a virtual student, you can pick one up at your curbside meal site as well. If you're watching this video and you want to join the live video next next month, our next tasting um, on Zoom will be on March 2nd um, at 10.30 a.m. Feel, feel free to email me, Janelle Manzano, um, if you want more information on that. And if you're also watching it this school year, um, here are our upcoming dates for um, our monthly tastings that are live. Um, and then next week on February 9, we are hosting a um, virtual cooking class on Zoom as well, um, doing sweet treats to for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned for that. All right, thank you.